everyone, welcome to Melda 242. I am Ramelda and today I will be preparing for you Bahamian fried conk. Yes, cracked conk. If you want to see how this is prepared, then continue watching. I have the ingredients listed here on my left. Okay, in this bowl I have four fresh conk that were already skinned and bruised. And they, of course they were sitting in fresh milk. I'm just adding a few more drops to it. That's gonna make them extremely soft. Okay, I'm adding two eggs, two large eggs to this bowl. This is gonna be the first step after taking them out of the milk. Just get rid of this egg off the counter. I'm going to use this little whisk and just mix these up very, very well. Okay, give them a good mixing, just like so. That's the egg. Now the cornmeal. Yes, cornmeal. Instead of flour, I'm using cornmeal. I've used this recipe several times with the cornmeal and it was really really good and I thought I'd share it with you today so cornmeal instead of the flour you don't have to worry about tasting just batter you want to taste conk so the cornmeal using cornmeal would eliminate all of that to this cornmeal I'm adding a half teaspoon of garlic salt mix that up Then a half teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Now the red pepper flakes, you can substitute this with black pepper if you wish. But I don't use black pepper. Now my best friend, minced onion. Yes, no onion cutting up today. Woohoo! Just about a quarter teaspoon, sorry, a quarter tablespoon of that over the conk. Get this pan ready. Fill it up about a quarter of the way. All right. Should have used my deep fryer, but nevertheless, okay, let's go. Egg and then the cornmeal, then the oil. Now my oil is on medium, my pan is on medium. You don't want it on high. Okay, that's the first step. Coat it in the oil, in the egg then the cornmeal mixture. Okay, now the pan, the oil isn't ready as yet, so I'm just gonna rest them over here until it's nice and hot. So you have the egg, egg dip, then the cornmeal. Please continue watching, don't go away. I need your company. I'd like to take this time out to say thank you to my returning subscribers, yes. And of course, my brand new subscribers. I appreciate you coming today. God bless you. And I hope you use this recipe one day soon. I enjoy you coming here and even my followers. Maybe after today you would Decide on subscribing and joining the family. Here we share a lot of goodness. Like this video as well, please. Don't forget to hit the bell now. If you're joining for the first time, hit the bell so you can know whenever something new is on. I enjoy your company. Giving my hand a quick rinse. 
Now I'm back. We share just goodness on this channel. Goodness. And of course, I'm just cooking with love. Cooking with love. It's for my family, so you know I have to fix you up, right? Everything here is made with love. All right, that's finished. Now it's time for the frying. Like I said, the oil is like a quarter way up and the stove is on medium. Now the conch doesn't have to fry until it's brown. No, just give it a nice light brown um, color or until it is stiff. You would know and that's when, it need, that's when you need to turn it on the other side. So allow each side to cook for about two to three minutes. The conch isn't thick. It has already been tenderized, bruised, so it doesn't need a long cooking. You wouldn't know when it needs to turn because it's gonna be stiff in the pan. And that means it's time to turn. Turn it to the other side. Okay, see, just like that. That's ready. Just like that. Boy, that looks nice. That's what I'm talking about. That's Bahamian crack conch. But I really want you to try it with the cornmeal instead of the flour. See, with the flour, you have too much of a batter on the conch. And you don't hardly taste the conch. You with this. With this recipe, you taste conch. Goodness. And you know, they always say conch is an aphrodisiac, so conch has the, the goodness that we adults need. Let's go, conch, fried conch. There you have it. Oh, that's rolling. All right. Now, crack conch can be served with peas and rice, peas and grits. Just a big salad, tossed salad, garden salad, mashed potatoes, and of course, French fries. Whatever you want the crack conch to be served with, you just ask for that, or you can fix it yourself. Whatever you like. But I'm just showing you how to make the crack conch, fried conch. Or you can just eat it by itself, just like that. Okay, now I have some paper towel in the in this plate that I'm gonna rest these conch on after taking them out so that it can absorb some of the oil that's in it. Now these wouldn't have as much oil as if I was frying them with the flour. Because for some reason the flour holds onto the oil. I used cornmeal. Continue watching now. I don't want you to miss anything. You see that? That's extremely soft. It fell right off. You don't have to cook these long either. Oh, that's a big piece. Wow. Hmm. You can also do the chicken this way, quacked chicken. I'll show you how to do that in another video. I 
and also there's a new one out cracked coconut so I'll show you that you have to stay tuned you have to subscribe if you haven't so you can get these recipes in your in your cookbook so you can make them for your family like I'm doing these are all the um, recipes and food that I'm making for my family to eat nothing special sharing some goodness with you all right that looks delicious that's a good piece Woohoo! Oh goodness. Okay, almost there. These are the little pieces. The same rule applies. Turn over when they're getting stiff or two to three minutes on each side. Okay. Now if I was frying these in a deep fryer, just dip, fry for a few minutes, and out. I won't have to worry about turning. But I'm not using my deep fryer today. I'm just using a regular frying pot. Okay, there you have it. Bahamian fried conch crack conch thank you for watching this video all the way to the end if you like it you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed as yet as yet please do so I appreciate you coming God bless you and I'll see you in the next one